Hi, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Uh, the company 123 Creative contacted me and they wanted to send me the watercolor studio kit. And there are so many goodies in this box. I did a proper unboxing, but as I mentioned in my last video, I lost a bunch of footage because of my old computer. So I don't have the box itself left, but I have all the stuff. So we're gonna look at all of it. And I apologize for the lack of unboxing. To start off with, we have these like information leaflets and the first ones is like how to get to know your watercolor studio kit. Uh, it lists all of the supplies included along with a bunch of information as of how to use them and kind of how they work. The next page is a color wheel and sketch techniques and this is really useful information especially if you're a beginner and doesn't know too much about color theory this is really gonna help you. And then it also includes three different step-by-step -step instructions to create three different artwork. You have one giraffe, you have a landscape, and you have a very expressionistic ostrich. So starting off with the watercolor pad included, it's got 10 sheets, it's acid-free paper, and it's got a cold pressed surface. Uh, this paper actually reminds me a lot of the Artessa watercolor paper. Uh, as it has these kind of linear grains to them. Uh, the camera isn't really picking it up, but it's kind of like a linen-y texture. <laughs> the watercolor pad is A4 size and it's 300 GSM, so it's really nice and thick and sturdy. Up next we have a plastic palette. It's just a standard plastic palette like you can find in most art stores. Uh, it's got 10 wells and a mixing spot in the middle. Up next we have the watercolor brushes included and they give you an assortment of 5 different brushes. And I think it's a really nice set to start off with. I'm doing the little pull test to see if the bristles are coming off, and they are not. Uh, and I didn't have any fallout during the entire painting process either. So this set includes one flat 20 brush, one 18 filbert, one round 10, one round 8, and last but not least, we have a round four brush. All of the brushes are made of synthetic fibers. And I gotta tell you, these brushes are <laughs> incredible. I'm in love. Next up, we have the watercolor pencil set. This set comes with 12 different colors, including white, yellow, orange, pink, red, violet, light blue, dark blue, grass green, deep green, brown, and black. And one really nice touch that they included is actually a pencil sharpener and it's just a standard metallic dual hole pencil sharpener. Up next we have the watercolor pastels and this is actually something that's really new to me. I've never seen this before. Uh, I'm not a fan of pastels myself because I think they get too messy. Uh, but I think it's a re really nice addition to this box to give you one more structure to work with. This set also comes with 12 different colors. The next item in the box are the watercolors themselves. It comes in a set with 12 12 milliliter tubes and the colors are white, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, vermilion, crimson red, violet, Prussian blue, grass green, deep green, burnt sienna, burnt amber, and black. Uh, one remark that I do have about all of these supplies are that although the colors are very similar to each other, um, 
it would be nice to have the same assortment of colors in all three different mediums that we're supplied with um, as i said this some of the colors are the same but then for example we have a pink in the watercolor pencils that we don't have in any of um, either the pastels or the watercolors and it would just be nice to kind of be able to match up all of the mediums with each other in a more effective way here you can see me swatching out all of the supplies and because i'm personally not a fan of the type of palette that's supplied um i decided to set up my own uh, little metal tin palette for this set uh, so this tin was not included in the set but this is just a way for me to have a more pleasant experience while working with these supplies this is nothing other than just a personal preference uh, thing about how I prefer working um, so yeah uh, without further ado let's get into the artwork and just testing all of these supplies out. I decided to paint a lovely lady with some flowers in her hair. I gotta tell you, this set is, for me, it would be like the perfect beginner set. Um, it's all student grade, so it's not professional grade. Uh, there aren't any light fastness information or anything like that. But if you're gonna doodle around in your sketchbook or just get to know the medium, uh, just practice techniques and stuff like that, I could deeply, deeply recommend this set. And 123 Creative were kind enough not only to supply me with the set, but they're actually also gonna send out two sets to two of you guys. Uh, so I will have a giveaway and there will be two ways to enter. One way will be through YouTube and one way will be through my Instagram page. All you need to do to enter the giveaway will be to comment your favorite art medium down in the comments of this video. The other way to enter would be to comment the, <laughs> the same thing uh, under the post regarding the giveaway on my Instagram page. Uh, all of the links will be in the description box down below along with links to 123creative.com. I want to thank this company for sending me this. I had a blast and I think that this studio set is the perfect beginner set if you want to get into watercoloring and you have somewhat of a budget and you don't want to spend too much but still have supplies to try out and experiment with i think this would be perfect for you and the very very highlight of this set for me is the brushes i i, I love these brushes especially the round ones uh they hold so much water and they're they're really really nice quality just for the price of this set so i these these are probably gonna be my go-to brushes from now on because i i love them so much they were so pleasant to work with okie dokie guys that's um <laughs> that's actually all i have to say about this uh for now if you have any questions or anything that you would like to see on my channel in the future please let me know in the comments down below Okie dokie guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I will see you on Saturday with a brand new video. I hope that you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is where you're at and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and happy painting. Bye!